These pages are my journey, my story, my path. They're not meant to cover up, but to reveal. Sometimes in poems, sometimes in story, sometimes clear, sometimes vague, sometimes long, sometimes brief. But the release of these words is a soothing elixir to my burdened soul. The words must flow from me, or I will die. And in the end, these words are crumbs that spill along my path. And whoever eats these crumbs will know more of me. I am finding where I am by understanding where I was. And everything I was is linked to the Island of Mist, the refuge. And I must know where they were as well. My heritage, my people, my family. My father, the prisoner of the hidden and the revealed. Raised by Tiana, who hid the truth. Then raised by Gen, who revealed the truth. But Tiana hid for love, and Gen revealed for power. Mother, too, nothing more than a slave to what she knew and what she felt. Taught by Gen to write what she knew, then taught by Tiana to write what she felt. But Gen's teachings imprisoned her, and Tiana's teachings freed her. And in the end, through the hidden and revealed, through the known and the felt, through the good and the evil, through the gods and the devils, they came together. Together they came, father floating and mother caring. Father knowing and mother feeling. And my great-grandmother Tiana watched. And my grandfather Gen fell. And so began our path of pain. Tiana was called the Destroyer, but she brought them together and lived with them on Mist Island. Father could not keep Mist simple. New structures and new ages he brought. Mother could not keep Mist solitary. Two new sons she brought, my brothers, Cirrus and Akinar. And they grew up strong and hungry and lustful, like their grandfather Gen. Unable to control the power of books, the power of writing ages. And as a result, all became prisoners, prisoners in their refuge. I will never return to that place. this be on their backs this fallen empire was built Hypocrisy. such abuse of power i think they even deluded themselves into believing their own lies Gods are talking to ill it makes me pleased that they are dead
Pride is a thief. Pride stole the soul of the Dene people. Pride stole my own brothers. The temptation was too great. It is not the power, but the desire for power that destroys. That desire is in my blood. The blood of my ancestors, the blood of my flesh. I fight it, but I am pulled even now. My father tried to hide what he valued, his books and ages. While my brothers tried to hide what they valued, riches and power. Father was trusting, or naive. And ages and people were destroyed. And so my family was imprisoned. My brothers in ages written by father. Father in a Dene prison he had escaped from in childhood. And mother in the world she loved and feared the most. Riven, her home, her refuge. Perhaps it's why I now fear my home, my refuge. And then, by the maker, or by the role, a stranger found the book. The book had been intended to be destroyed by fire, but by the maker, or by the role, it was taken far away. The book was preserved until it was time. Surely it was the maker who preserved the book that would bring help. Now it was time. A stranger found the book, came to the island, and freed father. A lesson was learned. A friendship was forged. Friendship. The least are my friends. I must use the least wisely. I must listen to them and respect them. They are powerful. They are willing. And they are afraid. Ah, uh, the Revo, an age for resting. Ah, <sighs> such a peaceful place. And the way to get to the first age. There, that profane thing and the other pedestals like it are not of the Pni. They are a regrettable part of this journey. The pedestal will allow you to link in a manner similar to the book that brought you here, but know this. They are perverted tools of the creatures. The creatures. You've seen them. Always watching, calling to one another in the darkness. They're loathsome wraiths. They are not as we are. Remember that. Touch the pedestal. It will bring you to the age of Tagira. I will find you there.